Hello everyone, um, my name is Suo Chi Fong, metric number 259521. So this is my radio presentation for the real-time examiner one. So uh, the question is, uh, you are required to develop a small system using Maven and Java programming language. Uh, so here is what we have to do, we have to read the data or whether we have to scrap the data from these two websites. Uh, the first one is this main issue. After that, we have to compare both the data and produce the reports to list down the student who have not submitted the GitHub account and the one who have submitted the GitHub account. This is my source code. I'm using Apache NetBeans IDE uh, 11.1 versions. So this is my form SML files. Uh, as you can see here, I have already added two dependencies. The soup and a bunch of coin, and also this one. So here we have the start class. This is the only class that have the main methods. So this class will create the object from another class and initiate the methods. Here I have this GitHub Wikidata class. This class is used to scrape the information from this website yeah this one i'm using elements to select the table body so you can find the table element right here so here the table body and here are the table row and inside here is the table data so this is the data that we have to scrap so as you can see here, I have uh, created three variable elements to scrap the data uh, from the number, metric, and name. So, and then this one, main issue data, is used to scrap the data from this website. This one right here. And then uh, the elements, I select the element by class. We have to go to inspect also. From here, as uh, you can see, all the metric number, name, and link is under this p tag. So after I get the class name, I get the elements inside the tag. Separate the data by using the pattern matchings. So here one is to get the metric numbers and print out the metric numbers. I also store the metric number inside this string list of metric number. So this one is to pattern matching is to grab the name. I use this pattern matching uh, to grab the text inside this name and matrix as you can see here. Name and links and I get the name inside. This one is to print the name. And then this one is to get the GitHub link. So this is the text. So after I print out all the data, I store the information here. Now let's go into this right into Excel. So this class right into Excel one is for this uh, GitHub wiki data. All the information that I obtain uh, will store into here. This will create the Excel file and store all the data. And then this right into Excel 2 class will also store all the data from this main issue data. And it will save into the Excel file. So now this is the retrieve class. Retrieve class will create the string column one two three in order to for this write into SL one and write into SL two class to store the data. So this is the variable declaration. This is the constructor. So this one compare data class is used to compare the data by using array after we have saved both the SL file into our directory 
and then we I use this for loop to get the get the row and column of the Excel file. So for this one, I will compare the metric number of both files, and I will store the data into array one and array two, and then I will compare the arrays. Object array if uh object data array one. So the array one we will include in the object data and object two. If object two contains array data, it will add into array three. And this one is just the opposite. If array two does not contain the data in array one, it will add into array four. So here uh is to display the comparison mm -hmm. result. As you can so now let's try what and run the program. So as you can see here, here is from the first website. I have already scrapped all the data and display here and also set into the Excel file. So this is the first website, this is the data, this is the second website from here. And this one indicated that, that, that this has been set into Excel file. So this is the comparison result. All the result will be displayed here. So now we will take a look inside the, this table. So this is the Excel file of the first website, the list of students. And this is the Excel file for the second website, the main issue. So all the data has been saved into this GitHub Wiki table Excel and GitHub main issue Excel. Now for the class diagram, I use the easy UML to create my class diagrams. So I just have to click on new, other, and UML class diagram. So this one will, it will automatically generate my class diagram. This is my class diagram, yeah. As you can see, I have all the class here. The start class. We have wiki data, main issue data, right into SL1, right into SL2, compare data, and this one is the request class. So now I will show you how I upload my sort upload all of my class into the GitHub report. This is actually my report for the SM1. So as you can see, I already commit a few times. So now I will show you how I commit it. Uh, first of all, I actually clone my report to the des desktop. So this is my report right here. So I will just go to here, the main project. And I will copy all the files. After I done edit my source code, paste into here, so I will go into the directory of my folder, dd, paste. So now uh, I am already inside the, this directory. So as you can see, all of this part has been modified. So I have to add this part, all of them, and all of them have been added. So now I can commit. So now that I commit, I just type this push. And it will push my pass into the report. So the push is successful. And if I reload, as you can see, uh, here are the things that I just commit. Version one point eight. Twenty. So this is uh the end of my presentation for assignment one. Thank you.